Hello my friends. This is a map of beautiful Michigan. Michigan consists of two peninsulas separated by the Straits of Mackinac. The 45th parallel north runs through the state. Marked by highway signs and the Polar Equator Trail, along a line including Mission Point Light near Traverse City. The towns of Gaylord and Alpena in the lower peninsula and Menominee in the upper peninsula. With the exception of two tiny areas drained by the Mississippi River by way of the Wisconsin River in the upper peninsula and by way of the Kankakee Illinois River in the lower peninsula. Michigan is drained by the Great Lakes Street. Lawrence watershed and is the only state with the majority of its land thus drained. No point in the state is more than 6 miles from a natural water source or more than 85 miles from a Great Lakes shoreline. Why do you love Michigan so much? Please comment. Continuing. The Great Lakes that border Michigan from east to west are Lake Erie, Lake Huron, Lake Michigan and Lake Superior. The state is bounded on the south by the states of Ohio and Indiana, sharing land and water boundaries with both. Michigan's western boundaries are almost entirely water boundaries, from south to north, with Illinois and Wisconsin in Lake Michigan. Then a land boundary with Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula, that is principally demarcated by the Menominee and Montreal rivers, then water boundaries again, in Lake Superior. With Wisconsin and Minnesota to the west, capped around by the Canadian province of Ontario to the north and east. The heavily forested Upper Peninsula is relatively mountainous in the west. The Porcupine Mountains, which are part of one of the oldest mountain chains in the world, rise to an altitude of almost 2,000 feet above sea level and form the watershed between the streams flowing into Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. The surface on either side of this range is rugged. The state's highest point, in the Huron Mountains northwest of Marquette, is Mount Arvin at 1,979 feet. The peninsula is as large as Connecticut, Delaware, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island combined but has fewer than 330,000 inhabitants. They are sometimes called, Upers and their speech has been heavily influenced by the numerous Scandinavian and Canadian immigrants who settled the area during the lumbering and mining boom of the late 19th century. The lower peninsula is shaped like a mitten and many residents hold up a hand to depict where they are from. It is 277 miles long from north to south and 195 miles from east to west and occupies nearly two-thirds of the state's land area. The surface of the peninsula is generally level, broken by conical hills and glacial moraines usually not more than a few hundred feet tall. It is divided by a low water divides running north and south. The larger portion of the state is on the west of this and gradually slopes toward Lake Michigan. The highest point in the lower peninsula is either Briar Hill at 1,705 feet or one of several points nearby in the vicinity of Cadillac. The lowest point is the surface of Lake Erie at 571 feet. Numerous lakes and marshes mark both peninsulas, and the coast is much indented. Keweenaw Bay, Whitefish Bay, and the Big and Little Bays do Nock are the main indentations on the Upper Peninsula. The Grand and Little Traverse, Thunder, and Saginaw Bays within the Lower Peninsula. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe for the best maps and for the love of Michigan.